Hey Fight Squad, what's up? I'm Chris Bardas and this is another Fightcast, the show where we talk all about combat news. Korean Zombie, also known as Chan Sung Jung, just made a hell of a comeback. Three and a half years after his last five in the UFC, when he lost to Jose Aldo, battling an injury and then doing his uh, mandatory military service in Korea, he comes back in the UFC and he absolutely demolishes top 10 fighter Dennis Bermudez in the first round. If there's a fighter that actually deserves his nickname, that's the Korean Zombie. He started a bit slower, uh, Dennis Bermudez caught him with a nice overhand, he got a little bit dizzy, but uh, the good Zombie that he is, he walked it off, and then he came back with his own uppercut that caught Bermudez flush on the chin and dropped him and finished him right there in the first round. His win and uh, the whole comeback was actually so impressive that Dana White said afterwards that uh, he puts UFC Korea back on the map for 2017. He said he has already been talking about it with uh, UFC boss Ari Emanuel, but uh, having uh, KZ come back with the win makes it more certain. To be honest, I always thought Korea was the best country for UFC to get a foothold on the Asia market. We know they've been to uh, Japan a couple of times, maybe they've done okay, but uh, they haven't found the success that uh, all the Japanese promotions have, like Pride. And that's because uh, MMA in Japan is not that hot right now, even Japanese fighters talk about it. They've been to Macau, which is a different uh, situation because it's kind of like the Las Vegas of China, but uh, they need the uh, mainland China. That's where the big TV deals are with a billion uh, customers and, you know, the crazy money. Korea, though, it's perfect for the UFC to go into. 1FC, which is the big competitor in the Asia market, is not strong there. UFC has all the top fighters in his roster already. Korea as a country has a big interest in martial arts and sports in general. MMA fighters like Akiyama, who we may know as Japanese, but actually his parents are Korean and he's a much bigger star in Korea, known as uh, Chu Sang Hoon. And also other fighters like uh, Stan Gun Kim Dong Hyun are very popular there. Some of them are leading uh, TV shows, others are regulars in the panels. They're very famous for being fighters. It's not like they became famous for something else, for being actors or something. A big part of this is because uh, Korean people have a great respect for uh, Korean athletes who represent their country outside. It doesn't matter which sport, I know they love uh, soccer and uh, baseball the most, but if an athlete is doing well in the world stage, they have a great support behind him, becomes really popular, and uh, you can see him all over the media. And I remember uh, when uh, first uh, WME IMG bought the UFC, there was an article that detailed how uh, the company has uh, these new big deals in the Asia markets, in China and Korea and Japan, with big channels and, and uh, content distributors uh, that have like millions of uh, customers not only on the TVs, not only on television, but like mobile distributors and online distributors, and they need new content to funnel in those channels. And the UFC could uh, be a big part of it. Uh, I've read somewhere that the UFC tries to move away from the pay-per-view model to a more TV deal model, so they can have a more a certain amount of money they take in each year, and they don't have to depend on how well the pay-per-view does. And this is a great opportunity for them. I think Korea is a perfect place to start, and then if it goes uh, famous there, there's uh, this thing called Hallyu, which is the Korean wave, which means Korean celebrities are actually becoming more famous in countries like China or Japan. So they can ride that wave and actually open other markets too. And uh, if you like this video, please leave a comment down below. Tell us what you think about the fights that we saw on UFC Houston. Uh, tell us any complaints you might have about this video. And uh, give us a thumbs up if you liked it.